So today we have the FN S9. Of course, the S stands for striker fired. The previous line of pistols, the FNPs that um, FN had were fantastic. I have the FNP45, which is, and the FNX45, which are both fantastic weapons. And this is their new striker fired one. So I thought we'd go over the features. So this, of course, is the full size. They do make it compact, um, and they do make it in 40 as well. So first and foremost, the biggest thing you notice is it comes with three high capacity magazines. So that is pretty damn cool. So of course it has the FN symbol on the bottom of the polymer mag. It is a nice sheet metal design, very rigid, has a darkened stainless steel appearance, high vis follower, very smooth, stiff but smooth. Of course, in 9mm, this is a full-size 17-round capacity weapon. But three of them. Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. You really don't see that very often. Heck, sometimes you're lucky if you get, if you get one mag. I mean, let alone three. So that's awesome right off the bat. That's a really cool feature. The other cool feature is this is a nice case. It's hard plastic on the outside, but everywhere that you see is blue. is very soft, very supple, so it's not going to scrape up your gun of any kind. And I, I just think that's a cool feature that you don't see very often. Of course, you get the FN brochure. All right, it has very nice black and white photography in it. Not illustrations, but actual photography. You get a coupon to buy FN accessories. And you get the ever popular and completely useless gun lock. There it is. Fits right there in the lid. <clears throat> so, first and foremost, this gun feels great in the hand. It has very nice pyramid style checkering it's very awesome and of course it has a beaver tail which i appreciate as a 1911 shooter i just love that it has ambidextrous controls so it has a mag release on either side which is awesome it also has a slide release on either side that's a nice feature um, another really cool feature about this gun that I like, of course it has three dot white sights, but I don't know if you can see that, that the front sight is a bigger dot than the rear two dots. I like that a lot. Um, that makes sight acquisition incredibly easy. The trigger on this guy is not bad. And before we go any further, let's make sure no mag, nothing in that chamber. It's a cleared weapon. So... First and foremost, that trigger is really nice. There's, there is take up, but it's, it's, there is some free travel take up, right? And that's deactivating the, the in trigger safety, as you can see right there. But when you, once you hit that though, you know you're on it right there. And then it's a clean break. It feels frankly very M&P like, very Glock like. Um, it is a striker fired, obviously, but it just, it's very nice. It's very nice. We'll, we'll put it on the scale here in a minute. Of course, you have a full Picatinny rail, so you can light and laser anything you want. It has forward serrations up here, and it has rear serrations. They're pretty aggressive, too. They grab your hand pretty well. Um, so I would say that it's a pretty daggone nice high-capacity 9. Um... You know, street price right around four to four fifty. Um, it's very, very decent pistol for the money. Now it comes installed with an arched mainspring housing or back strap. But if you hit that little tiny button right there, you can take a punch and press it down. You slide it straight off. It comes with a straight version. So the straight version is very flat. Makes it feel skinnier in the hand. Now, again, I'm a 1911 guy, so I love the fact that it's got a beaver tail and it has the ability for me to kind of mimic that mainspring housing um, like I have on my 1911. So it feels very natural. So I can roll it in my hand when I'm doing that mag change. It's just very, very nice. I, I quite enjoy it. The lockup on this gun is 
pretty okay. Um, it does have some play on it, but it's very tight. Okay, let's do a little demo on how you break this guy down. So first and foremost, nothing can be in the magwell, nothing in the chamber. All right, so the slide is locked back. You then rotate this lever to the six o'clock position. You ride this slide forward, you pull the trigger, and then you're able to separate the two pieces. So you'll notice it, that it is a captured recoil spring, traditional Browning style lockup, and it is striker fired. So pretty standard there. But what's nice about the FNSs is when you look at all of that rail space there, look at all that. So you have these stainless steel inserts right here, and then you have these guys right back here. So these metal rails are quite nice, and they are very spacious, and you just don't see that on a lot of polymer guns. Um, so it's very, very cool, and it's very nicely made. It really will aid in reliability. So you just reverse what you've done. You slide the slide back onto the frame, you lock the slide back, and then you put it back into the three o'clock position. Then you function check your weapon and you're good to go. With a mag in unloaded, it weighs one pound, 8.4 ounces. That's actually really decent for a full size nine millimeter. For 17 rounds, that's not too bad. Now, for trigger, see what the scale has to say. I bet you it's pretty decent. Seven pounds. Pretty heavy. Let's do it one more time, see what we get here. Ooh, just under seven pounds. One more time, just to make sure we got it right. So, little over seven pounds. So it is a fairly heavy trigger, but it feels pretty decent. I imagine you'll be able to, to work this trigger pretty well in the field. Um, this would make an excellent three gun uh, choice. Uh, also self-defense, home defense. So here's your reset. That's it. That's all your reset is. So you'll be able to ride this trigger pretty fast. It is a very decent modern example of a high capacity self-defense weapon. It is a decent choice. But back to the pros and cons like we always wrap up every video with. So this pistol feels great. So the ergonomics and the fact that it's ambidextrous is, is number one. Uh, number two, made in the States. Uh, and number three, the cost. You know, it's right in line with all the other plastic fantastics. It's, you know, going to set you back anywhere between four and five hundred dollars, depending on whether you buy it on sale or not. I um, love the fact that they give you three mags. I love that. You know, for the same cost as all the other pistols out there, you get an additional mag, which is anywhere from, you know, 20 to 50 bucks, depending on what model you're talking about. So this is a, a big deal as far as I'm concerned. I think value is hard to find sometimes in the gun world, particularly from major manufacturers. The only con I'm going to give this gun is that I don't see a whole lot of holsters for it. So there's not a lot of aftermarket support, but I don't know that you really need it. I mean, everything about it, even the sights, particularly this big fat front sight, I think it's great. Um, and, you know, if you look hard enough and send emails to the different holster manufacturers, they will supply um, or have already have plans to supply a holster for the FNS9. So um, I... I love it. I think it's a great choice for home defense, self-defense, three-gun competition, um, general plinking at the range. So I don't really have any cons. Um, I wish that there were more inexpensive holsters um, for this pistol, but you know what? As time goes by, more manufacturers will make, you know, will make holsters for this gun. So. As always, if you like this kind of video, please, 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 more now than ever, I need your help. Please like, share, and comment. Help me drive up my subscribers. I really appreciate it. And as always, be safe and be good.